Dear brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa Jal revealed Al Quran Al Kareem in Laylatul Qadr, a night which is a better than 1,000 months. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala makes that night special. فيها يفرق كل أمر حكيم in which all the matters of a year discussed and decided and distributed to the malaika Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make that night special not because Quran was revealed in that night but, but, but because all the malaika and along with Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, they come down with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the decided matter of the year. Laylatul Qadr is a so significant and special night within a year. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make that night such important that the ibadah of one night, worship in one night, it is a better than worshipping 1,000 months. And one night is better than 1,000 months in regular nights. This is the significance of the Laylatul Qadr. Dear brothers, that night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put that night in the month of Ramadan, in the last 10 days of Ramadan, and it is an odd night, either 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, or 29th. The story behind is very interesting. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam about the exact date and time of Laylatul Qadr. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam revealed the significance of the Laylatul Qadr he got so excited and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam came out from his house at night to tell people immediately about the great opportunity and blessings of Allah for this Ummah. As soon as Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam revealed the significance of the Laylatul Qadr, he came out to inform his companions about Laylatul Qadr. فَوَجَدَ رَجُلَانِ يَقْسِمَانِ And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam found two people, they were arguing. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam cannot pass by two arguing people and just leave them arguing. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam cannot, you know, just let them happen. So he tried to bring peace between both of them. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam talked to the first person and then talked to the second person and explained to the first and explained to the second, he listened to both of them, and back and forth, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was paying attention to their situation, and he forgot that exact time and date. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-hakim, all-wise, and he do things with wisdom. 
and look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam who never forgot anything in his life big or small and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed ayat of Quran and Jibreel alayhi salatu wa recite them one time and then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recite the second time but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took that date away now Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam after he finished bringing a peace between both of them all he remember that it was Ramadan the last 10 days of Ramadan and it was odd night so Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Faltamisuha and then the Prophet says now you look for the night in 21st or 23rd 25th 27th or 29th and I want you to pause here and think about the significant of the night and the danger part of fighting and arguing and disrespecting one another how much burden it brought to Ummah and look how much damage it created for us and for entire Ummah two people fight make so big different so fight argue and disrespect of Muslim is haram in Islam and that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said respect and the honor of a Muslim is much more than the respect and sacredness, sacredness of Kaaba. Muslim is more sacred in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah azza wa jal give us tawfiq. Now sometime we do not even pay attention to those things. But look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Hujrat, Allah mentioned the one who back, back bite others. He is as if eating the flesh of his dead Muslim brother. The person who back bite. And the person who make the ishara to each other. And who make the lumas. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran. وَيْلٌ لِكُلِّهُ مَزَةِ اللُّمَزَةِ so dear brothers, it is a, such haram and serious and dangerous in Islam to disrespect, to backbite, to accuse, so to slander, to blame someone, to spread wrong rumors, false ideas, and to help one another to do wrong or to stop right activities or be part of them dear brothers all we're going to achieve is to make shaitan happy and that's why rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said that be sure you are part of positive activities not negative activities and as Allah mentioned in the Quran, وَتَعَوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى وَلَا تَعَوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ That you help one another to embrace birr and taqwa and piety and good deed and righteousness. Make sure you are being a part of, you know, spreading righteousness, spreading taqwa, help Islam, Muslims. And don't be part of any negative activities. Anything which is a haram or anything which is a udwan or anything which is a sin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. Go back to our story of Laylatul Qadr. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam could not just take it easy about the fight. If two Muslims are 
not happy, not talking to each other. It is a such haram that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, the prayer does not go up to heaven when somebody is not talking to his Muslim brother. And that's why Prophet said, Salatun la tujawizu salatum fawqa There are three people that their prayers are not accepted. It does not go up from their, their neck. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that a ruler, that the people hate them so much. And then a slave, when he run away from his master until he come back. And also Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَأَخَوَانِ مُتَصَارِمَانِ حَتَّى يُسْلِحَا And two brothers, when they are fighting one another until they bring peace between each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. So dear brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses Laylatul Qadr for Quran to be revealed. Laylatul Qadr is such a great night that the ibadah of one night is more important and more significant than the ibadah in 80, 83 years. Dear brothers and sisters, that opportunity is there. One night is already passed. And second important night is tonight. And then three more nights. Are we still busy? Have you ever thought and asked yourself what change you brought to your life in the month of Ramadan? How many times you already finished Quran? And how many juz or para you study Quran? And if someone is thinking that I cannot read Arabic language, well, English translation is available. How much study of Quran you have done in the month of Ramadan? Allah Azza wa Jal revealed Quran as a guidance book of Hidayah in the month of Ramadan. Are we taking that guidance to ourselves and practicing and implementing in our life? Or I'm still busy. I do not have a time to read the book of Allah to find out the guidance, to look at the evidences and proof of Quran. Dear brothers and sisters, Ramadan is almost over. Very soon will be leaving us. And we need to talk to ourselves and make a small survey and speak with ourselves and evaluate and see how much benefit I got from Ramadan. Did Ramadan change my lifestyle? Did I make a tawbah? Did I got better than the previous month? Or I'm still on the same page and doing everything the same? Then the Ramadan is only the time of, you know, eating two meals in a certain time and being hungry and thirsty all day long and doing certain things and that's it. Ramadan is not all about being hungry or pray taravi at night. Ramadan is the opportunity that we develop taqwa and tahara and we develop iman and piety and we get close to Allah, make our spirituality active and have a faith living inside of our body. Dear brothers and sisters, especially in the month, in the nights of Laylatul Qadr, we need to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us plan to spend a night in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A night without mattresses. Night outside of your 
bedroom, on the floor, in the house of Allah. A night may be not comfortable. A night in ibadah and worship, night for Allah alone. A night to look and to wash yourself. A night to raise a hand in it and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his forgiveness and Jannah. Let us plan a night that we only going to be close to Allah. We only reflecting on ourselves. We making dua and tawbah and sincere repentance to Allah Azza wa Jal. A night that will make a change to our life. Let us make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah make that night special and let us make that night special for ourselves. Are we ready to sleep on the floor in the masjid? Are we ready to, to uh, stay awake for Allah's sake one day or twice, two days or three days a year? Are we ready to take one day off from our job and our you know, daily work and busy schedule for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for ourselves and do some ibadah? We spend hours and hours to socialize with other people and to do all those things throughout our year. How much we get together, how many time we spend hours just for nothing. Nobody is watching, nobody is doing but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are some moments that we need to be alone at our home alone with our prayers and nobody is watching us but there are some moments in our life that we need to be seen we need to be known and laylatul qadr is one of them and that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa antum aqifuna fil masajid that the itikaf has to be in the masjid known to everyone and this is the night that Blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes and Quran says you be in itqaf in the masjid. Dear brothers and sisters, masjid is a spiritual place in Muslim life. And Prophet says the only heart of a believer always attached to the masjid. Masjid is such important that Prophet built a masjid before he built his own house. And even his house is attached to the masjid. He worked physically to build a masjid, but he did not work physically to build his own house. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said that a person whose heart is attached to the masajid will be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of resurrection. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put us among those they always attached to the masajid Allah. May Allah azza wa jal give us tawfiq to spend a time, a night for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake. May Allah give us wisdom and ability to make Layali Al-Qadr or the nights of Al-Qadr live in our life. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين.